Good morning guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm coming to you on a really random different day. I never normally film on a weekday but I thought I'd just do this video. I see quite a lot of them and I like quite I quite like I quite like watching these kind of videos myself so I thought I'd I'd make one. I've literally just it's literally like it's like five to seven. I've just finished my boot camp workout. I've been doing these like virtually for the past nine weeks. And I cannot wait to get back to actual boot camp with actual people, real life, you know, there in person. Unfortunately, in the first lockdown, we didn't have have boot camps virtually, so I did struggle without that. But this lockdown, we've had them virtually, and it's just been amazing. I do it three times a week, and I just love it. Today's workout was a good old chesticles, triceps, pumping. Um, but yeah, it's literally so nice outside now. Let me show you. It's literally nice and light already. Like you can see the moon just going, but it's <sighs> spring is on its way, guys. Spring is on its way. But yeah, I'm super pumped, ready to start the day. I find the days that I don't do boot camp, I don't feel as pumped. So I'm trying to go for runs on the days that I don't do boot camp now because I notice a difference. Also, just an update on the skin. Still a little bit spotty, but it has gone down massively on my chin. If you'd have seen my chin last week and the week before, it was, it was a mess. Um, it was a mess. And also, I did attempt to do my own eyelash extensions. Don't recommend, and um, probably not the safest way to do it. And my eyes were stinging from the fumes from the glue. But yeah, this was my poor attempt at doing my eyelash extensions. I'm not too mad about it. I think they look okay. But yeah, what I was thinking of doing for you guys today is basically showing you I eat in a day basically my calorie deficit diet how I kind of like just maintain my eating throughout the day after doing a workout and stuff so yeah I just burnt like 277 calories on today's workout which was good sometimes I don't know if Apple watches actually pick up the whole lot I don't know because um my trainer she has a Fitbit and hers picks up way more calories that she's burnt off than what mine does She's always coming back and saying like 600 a day odd, and I'm just like, oh, okay. I do feel super pumped. What I'm gonna go and do now is go upstairs and get ready, shower. I'm gonna wash this hair because it's gross. And I might put some makeup on today. I feel like doing a bit of makeup and then I'm gonna come down and make my breakfast. Yeah, I'm gonna bring you with me for today. If you do enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to like and subscribe. But yeah, without further ado, let me show you what I eat in a day. And yeah, just spend this lovely Wednesday with me because it is beautiful today. So yeah, let's go. Then fly to home But if you wanna travel Then go alone Yeah, what's the point in us If I never know yeah, if you're gonna leave I'm a So It's breakfast time And at the moment I have been having baked oats Like every morning for breakfast I've discovered a lot of different recipes On TikTok um, Of baked oats And honestly I am not a porridge lover. I've tried porridge in so many ways, like just having it with milk. I've tried overnight oats. I've tried flavoured oats like porridge. I've tried porridge bars and I've just never really got on with any of it. So I then kept seeing 
baked oats come up on TikTok and I wanted to give it a go and honestly it's so so good because you can kind of just put whatever toppings on that you want in moderation of course and it's not actually that bad so yeah I've been loving these at the moment they're quite quick to make so yes I am going to make baked oats also this morning I've been drinking my amino and energy drink so this is the strawberry lemonade flavor it's from the Tammy Hembro collection and it's from the women's best uh, or just women's best I don't think it's the I've literally got hardly any of this stuff, so I do need to buy some more but honestly this stuff's amazing I literally drink this throughout my workout and then obviously if I haven't finished it I just try and drink the rest of it because this stuff is so good for muscle growth and I did train arms today so yeah it's really good to you know kind of just stop that ache the next day so yeah I'll finish off drinking that so now let's get on to making my oats. So these are the ingredients, literally it's hardly anything. So I just use some hot chocolate powder, you can use any of your choice, baking powder, vanilla essence, some milk and some oats. So I've got everything I need all laid out here ready. So yeah, let's get making it. What you will need is 40 grams of oats. So I literally just use the cup that I'm because you kind of have to blend them down so that they're not um chunky if you like it chunky then you go ahead but I like them to be fine so 40 grams of oats and then I grab a tablespoon and you want to add five grams of the cocoa powder or hot chocolate powder in there and then what I do is you don't need the scales anymore. So turn them on, put them away. I like to clean up as I go. Um, so you then want to, obviously you don't have to do this stage. You can skip it, but I don't like my oats to be like really chunky because I'm not really a fan of oats. So you've got your mixture in like that. I then just want to grab my blender and I'm just gonna blitz them um, until they've, they've gone like really fine. <laughs> They've like almost gone into the dust. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Then what I do is pour this into just a little small bowl, shove that in there. And what you want is um, half a teaspoon of baking powder, plop that in there. Then you want some vanilla essence. I don't weigh this out, I'm quite naughty, but I just kind of guess what a splash is. Just shut that in there. I love the taste of vanilla anyway, so. Yep. And then you want 75 ml of milk. So, get my little measuring jug out. And just measure out 75. Sometimes I put a bit less because I'm not really, a, I'm not a milk lover. So I just put just under the 75 line because I don't like mine too watery. Mix that in there. Then what you want to do is just give that a stir without making a mess. You just gotta keep stirring just until everything's kind of all mixed in nicely. Kind of like making a cake, kind of consistency you want, like so. And then I will and then grab like a little oven proof dish like this. And um, it's gonna be hard to do with one hand, but we're gonna go with it. And I literally just pour it in just like so. Okay, so you've got your oats in here. I've massively spilled that, so great. But yeah, you've got your oats in there. And then you can top it with whatever you want. So you can top it with Kinder. If you don't want cho like more chocolate in there, you could literally just leave it as, as it is. I am a chocoholic and I've got a sweet tooth, so. I've got this massive bar of Galaxy from Christmas. And I just add five pieces into this. Just place it on top. So that's four. One more bit. Christ, this is a mess. Just like so. It doesn't have to be neat. So it should look like that. It's not, it's not neat at all. And I have preheated the oven to 200 degrees. 
So yeah, I'll literally just put that in the oven, set a timer for around 10, 12 minutes until I feel like it's firm and it's not like soft because I won't need it if it's soft. It's got to be more like a cake mixture. And yeah, I'll be back with you guys when it's out of the oven. Okay, these are now done and oh my god, like when it has the cracks in it and stuff, it just reminds me of like a chocolate cake. But yeah, this is it now done. The galaxy kind of sinks in a bit um, and melts so beautifully. But if you could smell my house right now, it smells literally like Casper's. It's unreal. So let me show you what I have on top. Okay, so what I have on top is again more chocolate, but like it's not a lot. I'll literally just get like the tip of the teaspoon and just try and run it up. I use the heat from the oats to just melt it a bit. But yeah, I don't put a lot of this on. Um, I'll show you in a minute. It doesn't look pretty. I'm not gonna lie. Like it doesn't look presentable. Um, but it's literally just for me, so it doesn't matter. Um, so I literally just run that along like so. Um, let me just show you what that looks like. She looks like that. I basically just covered the plain bit um, with some chocolate. Literally, it was not even. It was like half half a teaspoon um, and that's not it doesn't add many calories on us so obviously you don't have to do this part um, but yeah overall this is 378 calories and then what I would do is add some strawberries I'll literally probably use all of those because I love a lot of fruit so I'll literally just cut these up and place them on top so yeah let me try and do one of these cool transitions where they like just appear so I'll do a... This is my breakfast at a total of 378 calories. That's without the strawberries. I think the strawberries add like 30 more calories or something like that. So yeah, it's li literally so good. So yeah, then I will sit down um, at my desk. I am home working at the moment. So I'll just kind of like log on to my computer, check my emails and stuff and just kind of like eat this as I go along. I'll put it on a plate because obviously the dish is really, really hot. It's annoying because it kind of, yes. But yeah, I'll just sit and eat away at this obviously while I'm working and yeah, I'm just gonna eat this and I guess I'll see you when I next am hungry. <laughs> Hello guys, I'm back. I am now a little bit peckish. It's like 11.54. Don't know how I feel about my hair. Um, anyway, it's 11.54, so I'm a little bit peckish. I know it's probably pointless having a snack now because I normally take my lunch around one, half one, depending on how busy I am in the inbox, in, like with work, but I can't physically wait. So I'm picking up these as a snack and it is, Two milk chocolate, well, you get six in a pack, but I've got like two left in here. Um, so yeah, they're milk chocolate rice cakes, and they're honestly my favorite thing to snack on, because they're literally only 86 calories per rice cake. So yeah, literally love these. Good afternoon, it's now lunchtime, and it's 20 past two. Yeah, I am now hungry. Um, so I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna have. So for lunch, I'm having some beans, two eggs, which is good because that's all we've got left, and um, two rashers of unsmoked bacon. I wouldn't normally have this really for, like I would have beans and toast sometimes for lunch, and I probably would have that now, but we've got no like wholemeal bread. Um, we've got white, but obviously we've been in a calorie deficit diet. <laughs> white just takes up too many calories for the day so instead i'm gonna have it with eggs and bacon just to fill me up a bit more rather than just beans <laughs> and yeah that is what i'm gonna have i haven't really had chance i didn't go shopping food shopping at the weekend like i normally do so i didn't get any of my normal things that i would have for lunch sometimes i'd have a cucumber bagel so yeah anyway that's what i'm gonna have and i'm gonna start cooking it so I'm just going to spray this pan for the eggs and bacon with some fry light. Love this stuff, it's literally like one calorie per spray. And then going to pour the beans into here. Okay, so there is a, I'm a bit weird when it comes to making beans. Um, a lot of my friends know this and they all call me weirdo 
for doing this, but there's a secret ingredient that goes into my baked beans, basically, that I cannot make them without. And it's milk. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, this is something my mum has always done. So when I used to have beans as a kid, I used to always say to her, Oh my god, mum, your beans on toast are so nice. Yeah, when I got to the age where I started like cooking my own dinners and stuff, I said to her, like, mum, what is it you do to your beans on toast that makes them taste so different? And she literally said she adds milk. So it stuck with me and I now follow her recipe. I say recipe, I follow the way she makes them and I can't eat them any other way. Like I, I can only eat my baked beans basically. I like to make them really, really thick, so they're kind of like struggling to come off the spoon. I don't like them runny. So like if I ever go out and get like a full English or something, I just will get it without beans because I don't like anyone else's beans but mine or my mum's. So yeah, I told some of my friends actually that the other week and I got ripped for it. Like I got ripped into it for that. Um, yeah, it's not a common thing to put in beans. I know some people put like barbecue sauce or Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire sauce or something like that. Mine's milk and um, just honestly don't knock it till you try it. I fell where my demons dwell, my own little nightmare, I call it hell. Oh well, it's time to get back up, climbing and climbing. I'm done with this ride, is what I tell myself. Feel something else Yeah, I guess I had my bad days But it doesn't mean I lost my Darling, where were you when my heart was So that is lunch all made As you can see, like, what I mean about beans being quite thick um, I wouldn't normally go for this bacon This is just, like, bacon rashers But it's the only bacon we've got in the house And I felt like I needed something Thing else along with just egg and beans so that's gonna have to do and then I've got two fried eggs this one was so annoying this was perfect and then as I got it out it fell uh, in the pan and the egg like the yolk um, what do you call it broke so yeah I managed to get this one looking good but yeah this is my lunch I'm gonna sit and enjoy this I've still got some of my squash that I made from earlier so I think I've only got about half a bottle of that left so I'm gonna just drink that and then yeah, I'll be back with you soon. So I'm back again. A little bit peckish. So yeah, I'm a little bit peckish. So I have just grabbed one of these out of the fridge. If you haven't tried these and you're from the UK, I mean, I don't know if they do them anywhere else, but you need to try these. It's like a milk, it's basically called a milk slice. And it's like, it's a delicious cake snack made with whole milk. And when I was trying to find these in Tesco's originally, I thought they were kept just like in the confectionery aisle. Um, but they're actually kept in the fridge aisle near like the yogurts and the cream. Oh my god, they taste oh, they taste kind of like a Twinkie. So yeah, that's the closest thing I can like put them to. But oh my god, they're so good. And they're literally only 106 calories per one. So yeah, this is going to be my little snack. I've got like half an hour left of work. So this will keep me going. And then I'm sure before I know it, it will be dinner time, which does anyone, I don't know about anyone else, but does anyone else just literally like they eat one meal and then after eating it, they're straight away thinking about the next one. <laughs> or am I just a fat pig? Life and culture just a fat pig. So this is what the milk slice actually looks like. Excuse my gammy nails. Um, they need to be doing. But it's just like, it's like a sandwich, cake sandwich. And it's just insane. Get to know. Good evening guys, it's now dinner time and I have been looking forward to this all night. I always struggle for ideas for dinner, like I always sit there and think, oh, what? I normally plan my meals but this week's been hard because I haven't done my food shop so I haven't like really known what I was going to eat. But I've decided today for tonight's um, dinner, let me show you, let me show you. So for tonight's dinner I'm having beef sirloin steak this is literally like 201 calories i've just scanned it in onto my fitness pal and then i'll season that with some pepper and garlic steak seasoning um, and then i will have just to kind of like 
you know, not just have steak, is I'll have sliced green beans. I was gonna have broccoli tender stems, but it doesn't look like that we've got much in there, so I'm just gonna add a few green beans. My dad's, or I'm gonna be cooking it in this pan, excuse the state of it, um, it's only because my dad's literally just cooked his steak in there, it literally is still piping hot. He has had chips um, from the chippy, and I'm so jealous, but I'm having greens with mine because the treats only occur at the weekend. dinner and so i've got my steak which literally looks oh look at that steam sorry Ooh. and then i've got some of the broccoli and green beans and yeah literally took me about 10 15 minutes and it's just perfect the temptation to just grab some of those leftover chips is so high but i just think no we've got four months now to get summer body ready don't know about anyone else but i am over the moon with the announcement that Boris made Monday. So obviously I don't want to get my hopes up because we have been let down so long and um, so many times, but yeah. So I'm gonna probably sprinkle a little bit of vinegar and salt over this. I don't know why, but I really like vinegar on my steak. It's probably really weird. And put a little bit of salt just on my veg as I didn't put any in the water. So yeah. And then yeah, I'm gonna go and tuck into this. So, oh, someone's tired. So, yeah, I finished dinner about half an hour ago and I am actually starting to get a little bit peckish already. So I'm gonna go downstairs. I think this, oh, yawning again. I think the snack that I'm gonna have is a little moon. And I've got one of these like thin Mars bars. I literally like 99 calories per bar. Like they're they're like new. So we're gonna go get a snack. Should we go get a snack? Bedtime snack? He's honestly literally just like just chilling. In here. <laughs> Say hello. Yeah, so let's go get oh he's comfy <laughs> okay so i've got my snack oh my god my nails actually look horrendous so i've got my little moon i'm just gonna rest that i didn't bring a plate so i just didn't really want to get a plate just for a little moon and these are the bars small but so good only 95 calories in that right tobes in that right but yeah these have got to sit for five minutes after you've took them out of the freezer so i'm going to eat my mars while that one is doing its thing for five minutes um and yeah so i keep forgetting as well i am also drinking i've just poured myself some more squash this is like my second bottle of the day not as good normally i have about three only on the second one so i have slacked with drinking today but i'll be drinking that and um, throughout the night that'll probably last me until tomorrow morning anyway but yeah i'm literally just gonna chill watch a movie i'm probably gonna sort these nails out and eat my little bedtime snacks and that'll probably be me for the evening to be honest because um if i'm doing my nails it takes me around two hours so that'll pass a lot of time so the food won't be on the brain um and yeah and then i'll be going to bed so yeah i don't really like to eat past nine o'clock i like to kind of yeah i just i don't know i just don't i try my best not to there are obviously times sometimes where it can't be helped but yeah i'm literally just gonna chill i'm watching a film at the moment life as we know it it's like one of my favorites i love it so if you haven't watched it go and watch it i'm gonna take my makeup off i'm gonna do my nails and yeah just chill out basically so 
I'm going to end the video here. I do hope you enjoyed this video. I've never done these kind of videos before, but it would be very nice to know if you do enjoy these type of videos on my channel. I had a lot of fun doing it and showing you guys what I eat. Um, I'm hoping that some of the things that I've made or anything like that inspires you. But yeah, just let me know if you did enjoy this because I can make plenty more where that comes from. If you did enjoy it, please give it a big thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I shall see you in my next video.